real true key to saving money in the kitchen is making sure you use everything. We're taking those leftover bones and any scrap meat, and we're gonna make a delicious stock. And that delicious stock, which is free flavor, then turns into a fantastic tortellini soup. It's so easy, let me show you how to make it. Life can be a struggle, but a good meal doesn't have to be. We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes that won't break the bank. We'll eat well and save money, because that's what we do. Welcome to Struggle Meals. It starts off by making our very own chicken broth. I've got my leftover bones here. They got a little meat on them. We got some organs, and I've got a few vegetables. They're not necessary, but I've got them. Here's how easy it is. Onion, cut it in half. And then we've got carrot, onion, and celery. Only need to cut these into thirds. I'm cutting everything in big pieces, so it's really easy to retrieve them after all their flavor's been released into the broth. Onions are going in. Carrot and celery going in. I got a bay leaf. Our star ingredient, the bones from the meal that we had before. All this goes in. Ton of flavor and aroma. If you got neck, kidneys, hearts, any of those things, this is a great place to use them up. We're adding all the organs, but not the liver. I always like to add some black peppercorns, whole. Just for a little more freshness, we're gonna head over to the herb garden and get some thyme and parsley. Got some parsley, and we've got some thyme. And I'll put that right on top. Really important to remember that you should never put any salt into this stock because salt really limits how much you can reduce and intensify the broth because it would be too salty. Salt doesn't evaporate away. So we're just gonna pour some cold water over top. The idea behind using cold water is it'll take some time for everything to come up to temperature. And during that time, flavors will slowly extract, which is good. Turn on the fire. You don't have to do a whole lot while this is simmering and extracting flavor, but you do have to skim all that foam that floats to the top. Those are impurities and we don't want them in our broth. This is done when it looks like broth. We discard our big pieces. And you might say, Frankie, I thought this was no waste. How could you possibly get rid of this? All you gotta do is try this and you'll see it is completely flavorless. The flavor is in the liquid now. This is literally just flavorless fiber at this point. I'll take my broth and strain it right through a fine sieve to catch those peppercorns and any other little things that I left behind. All right, so we left behind two bones. Ah, the bay leaf. Yes, you definitely do not want to ingest that. Fantastic. We've got our stock on the stove, it's unseasoned. Now we're gonna season it and really turn it into a broth. Quite flavorful, but it does need salt. Kosher salt coming in, very nice. You can give this a little stir and we'll give it another little taste. Man, there's nothing like a fresh homemade broth, so good. We're gonna cook some store-bought tortellini right in our broth. It's a thin, fresh pasta, so it'll cook through really quickly. You can find these in both the refrigerated and frozen section. Doesn't matter, they both work. So you wanna make sure your broth is up to a nice simmer, and we're gonna cook our tortellini right in the broth. Give this a nice stir so nothing sticks. These should be ready in about six minutes. That gives us just enough time to pop over to the herb garden to get even more flavor. Chives, they're the most delicate member of the allium family and they're gonna give us a nice zing. I like to run the knife back along the chives and really let the blade do the work. Time to check on our tortellini. The tortellini are done, so now we can add spinach and it'll wilt almost instantly. The heat of our broth will be just enough to wilt it. That's it, I'm turning off the flame. I've got my ladle, I've got my bowl, I'm scooping in. Tortellini. You can smell the fresh chicken broth. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of chive, and I'm feeling spicy today, so I'm gonna hit up the package drawer for some red pepper flakes. This, of course, is optional, but it is free flavor. This wants to be eaten. It smells fantastic, it looks delicious, and it's $1.60 a serving. Oh, that broth is fantastic. It cannot be matched by anything that you purchase in a store. It's salty and spicy from the peppercorns and also from the chives, which are fantastic. So, so delicious. The key to this is making your very own broth at home. Feed this to anyone and they'll know you put love into it. Simplicity is the essence of this dish. Man, is it.